Prosecutors are calling it the largest gambling bust in North Jersey in 10 years, with 25 people arrested in Essex, Hudson, and Union counties, and across the Hudson in Manhattan. At a press conference today at the Essex County Prosecutor's Office, law enforcement officials displayed confiscated money, weapons, betting slips, and bookie charts, and said much of the activity centered on baseball and horse race betting, as well as an illegal lottery. In all, officials say it covered more than $275 million a year in illegal bets, and the money was oiling the machinery of organized crime. Uh, I'm a very firm believer in holding down governmental corruption uh, by keeping pressure on organized crime, and lottery and bookmaking are the two major sources of income for those organizations. Based upon your past experience, and realistically speaking, how long would it take them to get this kind of operation underway again? I would think if they were intent upon doing it, they could do it within days. All 25 suspects have posted bail. They're now out of jail waiting for trial. An Atlantic City newspaper says it will report a link between Atlantic City and the Mafia. The weekly paper says the report connects the Mafia in Canada with recent real estate deals in Atlantic City. Mike Power has more. The Atlantic City Sun says the mob figures have bought at least 120 parcels of land in what is known as the inlet section of Atlantic City for possible resale to casino developers. The inlet is Atlantic City's ghetto. The Sun says the deals are being put together by Angelo Pucci, who is described as a close friend of Toronto mob figure Paul Volpe. The paper says Pucci, in turn, is using a local man and a real estate company, which is under investigation by the State Real Estate Commission. The Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office says it's aware of Canadian Mafia interest in the area and is monitoring real estate deals. A proposed master plan for Atlantic City calls for casino development in the inlet beginning in 1984. Earlier this week, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation televised a three-and-a-half-hour documentary on organized crime, which included clandestinely filmed conversations in which Volpe and Pucci talked about investing in Atlantic City. In Trenton, I'm Mike Power. Indictments were handed up today against Bergen County Democratic Chairman Vincent Rigolosi, former State Bar Association President Donald Conway, and State Police Sergeant Joseph Lazaro. They have been charged with trying to bribe another state trooper to change an arrest report on the son of a reputed mob figure. Philip Lombardo, Jr. was arrested after a fight in a Dover Township bar last summer. The indictments accuse Rigolosi, Conway, Lazaro, and three others of offering the trooper who made the arrest $10,000 to alter his report so charges against the youth would be dropped. The trooper reported the bribe attempt instead. Lombardo's father, Philip Sr., is allegedly a member of the Genovese crime family.